This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone. Welcome to Asia Training Solutions. So, two minutes we'll wait for other learners to join. We'll wait for two minutes and then we'll start our discussion please. Thank you. Once again, uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to Isha Training Solutions. So, in our yesterday demo session, we were discussing about the course content basically, what we are going to learn as part of this uh, course journey. So, today is our day one. We will actually going to start the actual topic. From the first topic, we will start today. So I encourage each and everyone, uh, please uh, ask your question um, if you have any question uh, because whatever we learn, we wanted to learn uh, thoroughly and then we'll move to the next topic. Okay. With that understanding, we'll go to the first topic. First topic is actually what are APM tools? What are APM tools? Okay. So APM tools means what? So we know it is actually application performance monitoring or application performance management tool. Okay, application performance monitoring or application performance manage management tool. Why I am saying monitoring tool or management tool? Okay. Usually monitoring tool 
will only provide number data okay metric monitoring tool will only provide metric but management tool will give you the reason for the metric or the data okay say like you are getting so and so response time example okay you are getting so and so response time or so and so cp utilization so and so memory utilization but in managing level only you are going to get little more higher information say like where that particular time is actually taken okay or we can do certain other activities also say like notifying somebody that there is a problem triggering something to recover from the problem so like that there are some managing activities also happening that is the reason we are calling that as application performance monitoring or application performance management tool you are also doing certain managing activity you are not only i mean the tool is not only providing monitoring data it is also providing more than that it is also providing more than that that is a reason that is a reason okay application performance monitoring application performance management tool okay so traditionally if you go back i mean you, you go back some years ago you, i mean without uh, apm tool i'm saying how people managed uh, all these activities okay how people managed all these activities say like uh, i'll i'll put it in this way so server level if you are trying to focus on server level okay server level you are trying to focus on uh, i'm i mean to say the server in the sense like here you you clearly called out as application itself okay application level so that time people used to use profiling tools type of profiling tools okay even infra level if you are focusing on people use the perfmon or uh, nmon or vmstat like that okay there are there are commands they used okay even uh, they used uh, site scope and all the okay, site scope or or uh, uh, even solar winds those tools okay database side if they are focusing on they used db profilers or they used awr report or they used addm report like that okay so browser level browser level if you are focusing on they used uh, tools like um, uh, dev tools dev tools web page test gt matrix like this they used the different other tools so if you look at it in the entire layer i mean right from the browser application infrastructure database you need to learn lot of tools lot of tools you have to learn then only you can you can focus on the performance issue right from the browser layer till the uh, uh, database layer or other layers but think about the problem okay it is not that easy to get a person who knows everything think from the manager perspective or customer perspective you cannot hire a person who knows everything okay and uh, it is not that easy to learn every tool also okay i mean browser side certain tools app side certain tools db side certain tools and all it is not that easy so in that what usually happened you know we recruited multiple person for doing this single activity what is that activity finding the performance bottleneck finding the performance bottleneck 
finding the performance bottleneck what happened we recruited multiple person we used multiple tools to work on that but now when we are trying to use apm tools no problem right because what apm tools are actually doing end to end monitoring what apm tools are actually doing end to end monitoring end to end monitoring or nowadays they are using a fancy word called full stack monitoring what they are using they are using the word full stack monitoring right from browser application uh, database infrastructure everywhere you can use it provided you are going to implement apm tool in your organization apm tool okay so what we are actually going to get the benefit because we don't want to use multiple tools for multiple activity we are going to use only one tool for all your problem statement provided you need to have the license for all those activities for all those activities you need to have license that is the reason we are using the apm tools okay so why apm tools are important just now i i mentioned the same thing right why apm tools are important because you are not spending too much time to find the problem okay if you go back i mean uh, the same uh, 10 years before or before to that whenever you are uh, focusing on uh, root cause analysis or any any problem that you are trying to identify say like some production outage that is actually happened people used to take more than 24 hours or even more than that to identify the problem itself to identify the problem itself they usually take more than 24 hours and all in uh, i mean those days but now because of these apm tools and monitoring tools that are in place we are not even spending that much time we are not even spending that much time so usually i mean the retail based organizations you know they will measure this mttr rate mttr okay mean time to repair or mean time to recovery mean time to repair or mean time to recovery so what is that meaning where when there is a, actually a problem actually there is a problem within how much of time you are able to recover back within how much of a time you are able to recover back that is the mttr rate right so now these metrics are very very um, important we are focusing on these metrics nowadays okay why because we are having these kind of uh, uh, apm tools and monitoring tools that are in place because of that we are not spending that much of time in identifying the problem that is the first and foremost thing you think about uh, customer perspective you are uh, you are owning one um, uh, retail website you think like that a retail website you are you are having and that retail website is having some problem right now you are facing some problem in retail website for that retail website okay something happened means you think about the downtime if the downtime is actually more what will happen guys anybody can say what will happen if the downtime is actually very very high we will lose our business <clears throat> yeah we lose our business yes we lose our business we lose our customers we we'll, we will loss our revenue profit reputation credibility so so we don't want to go into that situation right unless and until your application is actually up and running for Uh, more than 99.9 percentage of the time so there is no problem at all because you are not going to face that worst situation but if you are if your downtime is very very high 
your customers they'll think very bad about your website and they'll also think about the alternative right they'll go and search in some other retail website they'll go they'll go to your uh, competitors also so so think about those things in that level yes if you are using the apm tools you are going to minimize your uh, downtime or you are going to proactively identify the problem because before even the problem is actually going to happen you can proactively identify the problem and proactively fix the issue so in that way the usage of apm tools are very 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 important okay because these tools are having lot of capabilities what capability notification alerting alerting capability is there so what you can do you can set up some threshold say like cp utilization should not reach so and so percentage memory utilization should not reach so and so percentage response time should not so reach so and so percentage uh, or, or or your exceptions should not reach so and so numbers so like that you can configure the value you can configure the value and if it is actually reaching to that number you are going to get the notification before even going to the worst situation you are setting your sla in such a way before even going to the worst situation you are going to get the notification so that you are going to make your people to go and fix the problem in the early stage itself not even in the downtime level you are going to fix the issue in the early stage itself so these tools are designed in such a way you are going to get all the alerting proactive alerting and you can fix the problem then and there you can fix the problem then and there that is the reason apm tools are very 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 important okay and you think from individual uh, person perspective okay say like you think from a performance tester perspective performance tester okay what performance testers they are doing day in day out okay what performance testers they are doing day in day out okay they'll get the requirement they'll convert that requirement into script and they will execute it and then they'll provide the report okay that is what they are doing day in day out right performance testers they are focused on doing this activity one they are doing this activity one so you think from the other perspective say like performance testers what information they are right now providing performance testers they will provide the pt tool level metric pt tool level metric okay, mostly they are they are providing this only right so now you think from the customer perspective pt tool level metric is not at all sufficient i need to get little more than that i need to get little more than that testing is not at all required i i need engineering i need engineering okay what else you are going to provide so that i can pinpoint the problem very easily your performance testing tool level metric yes it is giving me certain information but it is not giving me complete information in that situation what i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to provide performance engineering level okay something close to your problem statement or actual problem statement also you can provide to the development team so you think from that so right now yes performance testers are actually providing tool level metric okay if if some some four years five years uh, person if they are coming and attending interview with me okay if i am asking them like have you ever done uh, infrastructure monitoring have you ever done infrastructure monitoring the usual reply that i am getting from those those people you know what they are saying i don't know i don't have access okay i don't know i don't have access there is a separate team available to do this activity mostly we are getting the reply like this what reply i don't know i don't have access or some other team is actually doing this activity this is a usual reply that we are getting it from them. actually saying what i recommend or, or request everybody is that please try to do infrastructure monitoring also along with your regular performance testing activity because that is also important 
why it is actually important say like i'll show you say like you have your cp utilization graph you have your or or even memory utilization graph we'll go to the memory utilization so when you are starting your test load testing when you are starting your load testing your memory graph is actually starting like this like this like this it is actually going like this okay exactly at 1 hour exactly at 1 hour you stopped your test exactly at 1 hour you stopped your test okay so if you are not monitoring your infrastructure what will happen that is what i'm trying to show you right now okay if you are not monitoring your infrastructure behind the screen this is what is actually happening look at here what is actually happening the memory accumulation is actually keep on happening 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 but the memory releasing is not properly happening Okay, memory releasing is not properly happening and it reached to a level when you are completing your one hour of test it reached to this level since because you did not monitor the infrastructure you did not monitor it okay you did not monitor this metric at all during your regular performance testing activity you did not monitor this uh, uh, graph at all what you will do you will only provide your performance testing tool level numbers what numbers response time hits per second throughput transaction summary average response time uh, running user these are the graphs you usually provided to the customer everything is green all happy path everything good under the sla like that you will provide the report to the customer but if you look at this infrastructure graph because you missed to do it you did not do the infrastructure monitoring but but if you are trying to do infrastructure monitoring what will happen Okay, what will happen guys? Anybody can say? Quickly comment on this graph. What will happen? RAM is consuming more. Yeah. No, within very short In future time, there might be a problem. Yeah, within, within very short span of time, it will hit the out of memory error. Within very short span of time, it will hit the out of memory error. Okay. So, one hour of test, yes, all happy path. You, you are saying to the customer, everything is good. With your words, with your positive words, when customer is actually taking this code to the production, in production, what will happen? Within very short span of time, they are going to use the complete memory and they are going to get the out of memory error problem out of memory error problem so that is the reason i'm saying it is a good practice whenever you are doing your performance testing activity you should also monitor your infrastructure making sure because of your load testing load that you are giving is there any worst impact in the infrastructure or what or all your infrastructure metrics are steady stable that understanding you should be having. That understanding you should be having. That is very, very, very important. So, so that is the reason I am saying using these APM tools, that job is little easy because you have an infrastructure monitoring that is actually available within the APM tool. In App Dynamics, also, what, what we are having? We are having a machine agent. Machine agent or you call that a server agent server agent this is one use case right why we are actually going for apm tool okay the other uh, use case the other use case okay say like uh, we have we are using browser We are using browser and we are we are requesting something what 
so you think like uh, www.amazon.com so what will happen the request will go to the server i am i am saying like it is single server but internally you think like it is actually web server app server db server okay web server app server db server okay server app server db server so when the request is actually completely processed i mean www.amazon.com it is giving some response and that response is actually reaching to the browser so and you are getting the information related to www.amazon.com okay www.amazon.com okay so this is manually happening whatever right now i showed you is actually manually happening but when performance testers we are they are doing this activity when performance testers they are doing this activity so what they will do they'll use the performance testing tool so where the performance testing tool will be there it is a proxy server right performance testing tool will act like a proxy because we are recording things in the proxy only right so so man in the middle proxy say like uh, in this example i am taking apache jmeter as a uh, example apache jmeter okay so what will happen guys when the uh, uh, during the recording time during the recording time using performance testing tool what we will do we will launch the browser we will hit the www.amazon.com a request is actually going a request is actually going while the request is actually going what will happen in performance testing tool because performance testing tool is what it acts like a proxy right so what performance testing tool will do it will take the copy of the request it will take the copy of the request and then it will send the request to the server and server will process the request and you you are going to i mean server is actually giving what response so what this performance testing tool will do it will take the copy of the response copy of the response and it will send the response back to the browser will send the response back to the browser all these things are actually happening at what time during the recording during the script recording this is the activity that is actually happening during the script recording this is the activity that is actually happening say like you completed the recording you completed the recording next what we will do we have to validate it in order to validate it what we will do we will replay the script we will replay the script so while you are trying to replay the script what will happen while you are trying to replay the script what will happen this entire layer will not be there <coughs> this entire layer will not be there why because your tool is having the copy of the request your tool is actually having the copy of the request so what your tool will do it will use this request to send it to the server it will use this request to send it to the server so your server will process the request and it will give you what it will give you 
response it will give you response okay so this is what this is actually a replay response this is actually a replay response this you have a recording response this is what this you have a recording response <clears throat> so what tool will do whether your recording response and replay response are equal if it is equal it will say pass it if it is not equal it will say fail your script fail is actually failing so this is how your performance testing tool is actually working this is how your performance testing tool is actually working i'll take a pass here any question guys still no anybody have any question so why i explained this <clears throat> because in this activity this entire layer <clears throat> this entire layer is missing this browser layer is completely missing your yeah, browser loading rendering page painting everything is actually missing your load testing tool is actually communicating in what http http or https whatever so it is actually http protocol okay so so it will only get the server level response time not the browser level response time okay so so in that case whatever the number that we are providing it to the customer it is not a complete response time whatever the information that we are providing it to the customer it is not a complete response time it is actually what only portion of the response time so because of that what is actually happening because of your report you are providing some green happy path report to the customer with your words what they are doing they are deploying the code into the production but in production whatever the number that they are receiving with respect to these transactions whatever the number that they are receiving with respect to these transaction that are completely different that are completely different so that time only customers are asking why your number and the number that i am receiving in production environment is actually completely different so obviously some difference will be there because of the the infrastructure influence because in production you will have high configuration machines in uh, qa environment you will have little uh, average configuration machines yes uh, there will be a little influence because of the infrastructure but even then customers will feel some difference in the response time whatever you are providing it in the qa environment and whatever they are receiving it in the production environment because this reason because your performance testing tool is not providing the complete information your performance testing tool is actually providing the partial information only so in order to provide little more information to the customer in order to provide little more information to the customer there is an option available in apm tools called real user monitoring or browser level monitoring or user experience monitoring or end user experience monitor everything is actually common only but but people are calling it in a different different name okay that is the reason i'm i'm telling this okay so end user experience user experience real user monitoring browser level monitoring everything is actually quite a similar uh, understanding 
so your performance testing tool is not providing this number your apm tools are providing the browser level number your apm tools are actually providing the browser level numbers <coughs> I'll take a pass here. Any question guys still? So till now, at least we were able to discuss certain points, right? What is that? It is actually trying to find the problem very quickly. Problem identification is actually very, very quick. Okay. So you don't want to spend so much of time in identifying the problem itself. That is the first and foremost thing. Next one I told you, infrastructure monitoring, you can use this too. And real user monitoring I, I mean browser level monitoring you can use apm tool okay and also as usual right you are uh, usually uh, most of the outages probably more than 50 percentage of the outages in the real time that are happening due to the database level problem right because of something is actually wrong in the database you are going to get the outages right so that database monitoring is also available. So you can find the query execution time. I mean, which query, how much time it is actually taken? Which query, how much time it is actually taken? That understanding also you are going to get it using the APM tool. Using the APM tool, you are going to get that level of information also. Okay. So this is the reason I'm saying APM tool is actually very, very important to learn. And now I, I hope in this forum also, if someone is actually trying for uh, switching your job or you are trying for uh, any job interviews, you know, in the job description, you will definitely find one APM tool. Definitely one performance testing tool will be there. One APM tool will be there. Predominantly it is AppDynamics or Dynatrace. Okay. Mostly these tools are very famous in the market. So obviously you will be getting one APM tool uh, in the list. So it is mandatory to learn at least one APM tool. Okay. So, so that kind of uh, impact we are getting. Okay. And that too nowadays, you know, <clears throat> people are started talking about uh, uh, site reliability engineering. Okay. Site reliability engineering or, or uh, uh, something like uh, observability, observability. Okay, so all these fancy terms nowadays uh, people are using. Yes, these tools, these APM tools are actually trying to provide solution for those things. Okay, this modern trend, uh, what they are saying, right? For all those modern trend, they are trying to provide solution. Okay, so that is how uh, day by day the importance of APM tool is actually increasing a lot. Okay, so for the learners who wanted to enroll for this course journey this is kumar sir number okay i'll ping his number in the chat this is kumar sir number okay anything related to course timing course content uh, fees related anything that you wanted to discuss you can discuss with kumar sir i'll also ping this course content link in the chat you guys can uh, take it okay all these sessions are actually recorded okay daily we will record the session and post completion of the session we will upload that into a youtube playlist url okay daily basis we will upload that because sometimes uh, because of certain emergency if you are not attending attending the session also still you can uh, watch the video later and then you can bring your question in the next session also okay so so that is the reason so these videos you are going to have it for lifetime access these youtube videos you are going to have it for lifetime access and while explaining these concepts no whatever the content sample application software all these things we are going to provide through google drive okay through google drive we will provide the information you can download it you can set up everything in your machine 
you can also learn everything practically while we are um, going through this uh, course journey because everything we are going to do by hands on okay we are going to learn everything by hands on each and everything we are going to learn practically real world what is actually happening each and every customer what they are expecting that kind of a things only we are going to discuss we are going to discuss these line items okay so and also while going through the session uh, uh, any interview questions i mean interview preparation questions we will discuss okay uh, say like uh, call graph means what partial call graph means what or uh, heap dump analysis thread dump analysis garbage collection analysis like that we are going to learn each and everything uh, interview oriented also because ultimately uh, after completion of this session people will try for different jobs right so for them it should be useful so uh, so so what we are going to do we are going to focus on interview related things also okay so yes uh, this is actually a 15 hours of session 1 5 1 5 15 hours of session every day 1 1 hour we are going to cover okay and uh, monday to friday monday to friday we are going to learn this uh, tool uh, saturday sunday holiday okay uh, so uh, which means that uh, we are planning to complete it by three weeks okay so so monday to friday we are going to have it and time um, time slot is actually 7 30 a.m to 8 30 a.m indian time okay and this corresponding time slot okay 7.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. and this corresponding time slot. Okay. So, this is for other location students and learners. Okay. So, so yes, uh, already we started our day one session. We started our uh, first two topics. We started uh, uh, getting the understanding. So, we don't want to miss anything. We wanted to have a continuous learning. We will try to learn all the... Uh, technical things related to uh, APM tools and app dynamics tools. So those who wanted to enroll yourself, please reach out to Kumar sir number 801995242. Okay. So any further information you can reach out to them. They will provide all the clarity. Any question guys still now? Thanks for the learners who joined today for evaluating us. Thanks for giving me this opportunity. So we'll continue the same learning uh, in this entire journey of uh, App Dynamics uh, APM tool learning. Uh, thanks for uh, joining today. Thanks all. Bye bye. Thank you.